Today, I'm gonna to show you why Fellow is the best AI meeting assistant out there and how Fellow handles your privacy and security so you can have peace of mind around how AI is taking your notes, transcribing your meetings while keeping your sensitive information protected. But if this is your first time here, my name is Mark Key. I'm the CEO at Surface and we are proud fellow ambassadors, and I make videos like this every single week to help you and your team get the most out of your tech investments. And so with AI making its way into different teams, there's a lot of sensitive data that's flying around, like meeting notes, recordings, and agendas. And so any mishandling of this information or information being accessed by the wrong person can be detrimental to your, your team, your privacy, security, health information, personal information. And so I'm going to show you how Fellow handles that so that you can feel confident that all of your information is protected and you have the proper restrictions in place. And so let's get into the demo. And so the first thing we want to do when we open up Fellow is go to your avatar, click on our uh, workspace settings, and then we're going to go to the security tab. So there's different settings, and I'm going to let you go through them, but I'm going to highlight some of the key um, features here. And so when it comes to sharing and collaboration, this is often the biggest concern is who's going to see my information? Why are they seeing it? And can I restrict any of that sharing? And the answer is yes. And so you can have it so that you can have it on or off for if you want your team to allow um, public access to your meeting notes, public access to fellow um, co-pilots meeting, recap, and any sharing with external attendees. So in my role, um, I do a lot of sales. There's often next steps and action items. And I want to make sure that they're aware of you know, what was discussed and we're always on the same page. So I will share that information with any new potential customers so that they have a record of that and they can share it with the rest of their team. But if there are cases where you don't want to share these things, you can simply toggle this off. Another great thing I love about the security options is the audit log. And so you can keep track of all of the different people on your team who are accessing fellow um, when they're accessing Fellow and where they're accessing Fellow from. So it has a list of IP addresses as well as the activity or the person and any other changes that were made inside of your space. Next, we're going to go to Fellow Copilot and AI. And so we're already off the bat. One thing that makes uh, Fellow stand out from the rest of the AI meeting takers is you have one AI meeting taker. IT managers do not have to manage many or multiple meeting takers. Your fellow co-pilot will join all of your calls, whether you want it to automatically join or manually join. And so you have the option to enable or disable that. And then we have an option where you can um, enable or disable um, meetings to be deleted automatically. Now, if you want to have them in your space for a certain time, but due to various policies around maybe your insurance or best practices within your company, and you don't want to have this information stored within Fellow, you can always download it, get it out of Fellow, and then choose to auto-delete these after a certain time. So maybe you want to save on your cloud space, or you want to have them stored in another secure database that is self-hosted. You can pull all the information out of here if you need to. Then I want to go to the recording and rules and restrictions. And so here we have some different options where we can uh, add rules to, you know, when we auto record, as well as who can auto record. And so if we add an auto record rule, we can choose this rule to apply to the entire organization. So anytime that we start a meeting where fellow is invited, it will automatically record. You don't have to press the button to automatically record it, or you can select certain users that you want to enable this feature for. So then if we want to get a little more granular, we can go in and we can browse some other examples. So in this case, any internal meetings with two or more invitees, we can add a rule for the entire company that those meetings are auto recorded, or we can have it for select users with two or more people in that meeting to auto record that. Or for external meetings only, we can add a rule. So an external meeting would be a participant or an attendee that doesn't have a domain of your company, right? So a guest in this case. We can have it so that external auto recording is enabled for the entire company or again, select users. And then we have additional 
recording restrictions down here. So we can add a restriction for the entire company if we want fellow co-pilot to be blocked from recording certain meetings. So whether it's on automatically or we enable it manually, it can be blocked for the entire workspace or select users based on rules that we can set for it. And so here we can add a rule. So right now we have one where it says for the entire company, okay? So if we go in, we can choose for either internal and external, internal only or external only, that if certain keywords or domains come up in that meeting, either agenda or the meeting notes and the recap, that those uh, recordings will not be added to your library. And so in this case, we have do not record. So if I were to type do not record or DNR or at lawyer corp or even, you know, finance as an option. We can add that there and any meeting notes that have finance will automatically be blocked. And so we can really get really specific about the types of information we want to share and we want to restrict. Okay. And then anything that does not contain a keyword, we can add those in here as well to make sure that those do get recorded and we can get even more specific. So I'm going to back out of that for right now. So the next thing that we can do is we can enable teams. So teams are obviously groups of people by departments. So in this case, I have a delivery team. I could go in and I could add a marketing team like so. I can choose if we want to have a parent team. In this case, it'll be Surface. And then we'll go in and we'll add the users that we want to have on that team. So I'll just bring someone else in. For this example, we'll create that team. So any meetings that are created with those users will automatically be assigned to that team. So you can make sure that those recordings with those individuals are only visible to the people on that team. And so the next thing that you can do is you can go in and you can add different channels so that you can assign various videos and recordings to certain channels and then only the people in that channel can then access them. And so when we go to our library, you'll see that we have a company library where there's a global library of all recordings that anyone can access. Or then we have, uh, in this case, I have connect calls because those are my, my saved uh, sales calls. But then we can add a channel, say, for HR. Um, like that, we can go and just create a new one. So I'm going to call this HR. And this can be a public channel that, again, we'll add our different recordings to on our recaps. And this can go into the one space, or we can make it private to ensure that only the people that we select um, for that HR channel can add videos and access those videos. And so that's another way that we can lock down security. I'm going to switch over to a uh, Google Meet recording that I've had in the background for a little bit. And so what's nice about this is when you're on a call as well, you can see that I'm recording. Um, fellow is taking notes. Uh, I have a, a bit of a recap going on here. I can interact with it during the call. But if any sensitive information does come up or there's something that we don't want to share, we can always simply click on this. We can pause that recording, continue on with the meeting. That information is not carried over. And then we can just resume the recording after we've passed that topic as well. And so I'm going to stop. So I want to show you a couple other things here. So when we go into your meetings, it's going to update all of the different meetings that you have had. And let's pull this up here. So right now, because I've just ended that call, it's still transcribing it for me, but I have another version of it. So what's nice about this is when we go in to this option here, oh, look at that face. I love these screen grabs. Gotta love it. Uh, we can go to the transcript. And what's nice um, is we can actually redact information. And so here I was, hey, check, check, check. I'm going to sync Google. I was doing a slate. There we go. But if I don't want to have that in the call or there is sensitive information that shouldn't have been there, as you can see, we can highlight these different areas, click on the three dots. I can redact that information where it removes, removes it from the call. And then I can remove it from both the recording and the transcript entirely. So that entire section is now removed. Um, and so no one will have access to that, thus keeping our personal information um, or private information in this case, even more private. 
And I'll also let you know that Fell is SOC 2 Type 2 compliant, GDPR ready, as well as HIPAA compliant. And so you can always make sure that your data is protected um, and there are fail safes in place to make sure that it stays that way. So I hope you enjoyed this in-depth review of fellow security and privacy features and how you can control exactly who has access to your meeting content from recordings to transcripts. And so again, if this, if this helped you, I'd love for you to share this video with someone who might find it helpful. Send this to your IT manager if you're looking for a new AI meeting assistant and you want to check out Fellow. Um, and because we are Fellow Ambassadors, if you want to try out Fellow for yourself, please click the link in the description where you'll get 10% uh, off your Fellow investment for your first year. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.